What's up, Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. I just got a spinnaker delivery and I want to show it to you. I've plunked down my hard earned money for it. And unfortunately, based on some of the comments I've been exchanging with some dudes out there, uh, the way I got this is <laughs> maybe not available to you anymore. I'm going to tell you how I got it and why I think it's such a screaming deal. But um, nonetheless, I still think you can get it at a great, great deal. But maybe if you're a little slow on the trigger, um, you, you can't get quite the deal I got. But I'm going to be straight up with you and uh, give you my numbers because I think it was kind of important. So as you know, Spinnaker went ahead and put some of their watches on sale. It looks like uh, there's just some stuff on the uh, plastic. There's a plastic, there's a metal um, cap there and the plastic's on it and so there's a little schmutz. All right, no big deal. But I do love the fact that it comes in this uh, kind of hard-sided divers case, like equipment case. Uh, this is how it comes and that's probably pretty cool because this is one of their more expensive watches. Uh, this is also the same case that you get the Amalfi 49er class limited edition watch in, but it has a limited edition plaque on it. So um, if you want this case, you can get it on that one too, which I love. And boom! Oh, I guess I should have looked in here first. <laughs> we have some stuff. Your warranty card, your instruction manual. This is an automatic watch because it says it right there. And boom, there's the watch. I'm stoked about checking this out. So let me let me tell you this is a four hundred dollar watch we'll get into how you can get a deal on it uh but spinnaker charges 400 bucks for this watch i've had my eye on this particular class of watch or this collection of watch before it's all wrapped up in plastic and it is the um the overboard i kind of like the name all the names are you know sailing related and i just wanted this one it's it's a it's a true diver's watch and the fact that this one is meant to be worn in the water and it and it certainly looks that way because of how massive the watch is now i have read some reviews where people were like oh it's massive but it doesn't feel that bad well it feels big it feels thick i don't think it's as wide in diameter as some watches so you have that going for it there we go finally got it off but it does come in a couple of different color combos and i really wanted this one man and i will tell you this thing looks better in person than it does in the pictures. And I was even looking at some like Instagram pictures of other people who had it. And I was like, man, that thing looks good. This thing looks amazing in person. I cannot believe that I waited this long to get this one. All right, I'm, I'm gushing about this. It's not a limited edition or anything like that. But first of all, let's talk about the price point. $400, right now I'm sold on it. $400, get it. It's great. It's a great deal. Uh, I am... Uh, um, stunned because there's a lot of mass to this watch. It's it's a it's a uh, <laughs> it's a big watch, that is for sure. So I don't disagree with the people who kind of talked about how how big it is. That's going to be a given, and uh, it has a lot of presence. But the two I was looking at, one has like a kind of this metallic blue dial and a yellow band. And then this one, which was kind of a little more gunmetal across the board, I thought, all right, a little more subtle. I'm going to get this one. But that blue with the yellow really looked interesting, too. And, and it really depends on your taste. There are other color combinations that look absolutely amazing. But um, it does have an automatic movement. I'll overlay it if I can find out. But no exhibition back window, right? You've got kind of the standard you know, spinnaker backing here. It's the SP5023 and then dash whatever this one was, 03 maybe. But you do have what's kind of unique on this is a little window into the haw to the movement from the front. So you have a you have a window right there and you can see that balance wheel um, swinging back and forth. Obviously it's running. You can see the uh, seconds hand there sliding around. So that's pretty cool because it's not over the top in your face like a skeleton watch you know which are kind of cool but you get to see you know and you get to share with other people your love of watches and your passion for watches by showing them that this one is different than the quartz that they're wearing this one is a this one is alive in many ways has moving parts and man it is well protected so what I kind of looked, when I looked at the pictures and I was looking at this watch, it just kind of looked, it even looked a little black to me that, uh, you know, it's a little hard to see the color variations, but gray and gunmetal are definitely the two big color combos. So if you like that, understand that you're going to get that. And I, and I'm totally sold on it. So we have a silicon band here. It's in uh, kind of a, you know, a medium shade of gray. You have a spinnaker, uh, the name right here on kind of this textured lined area. You have big cutouts for the, the holes. You've got the Spinnaker logo down here. You have a little bit of stair stepping all the way around, a little bit of a beveled edge on the flip side. 
you have it recessed so you get a little bit of breathability there the watch band is nice and thick i mean this is four millimeters easy it hugs the case and what it does here, which is a little bit different, is it kind of approaches the case at a very steep angle here and doesn't even stop. It kind of just looks like it, you know, gets cut off like that because a lot of them kind of curve up into the case and, and intersect with the case in a perpendicular fashion. This one does not. It goes right up to the case, a flat edge right there, which is pretty cool because a lot of times the, the, the case is cut round and so you get maybe some weak spots on the silicone on the edge but this is just flush and then it looks like it's held in place with a uh, a crossbar bolt now i'm not sure if those are for decoration only but it sure seems like those are legit they're in the right spot they look like legit pieces of hardware they even have a little knurling on the side but uh, a cut there for a flathead screwdriver and i can't see that you can squish the silicone enough to get a spring bar removal tool in there so i'm going to say that that's that's a legit uh you know bolted through bar to hold this on and i guess what i wouldn't be surprised in is you know since the silicone thins out here it could get kind of weak without a really big hole and a big bar holding it in place so keep that in mind same thing on the the buckle end here you've got a couple of retention straps and then you have um you know the 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 standard spinnaker buckle on this end oh man part of the, the problem with true unboxing is you're going to see all this kind of uh behind the scenes work uh brushed in in a you know like a stainless steel but it's a look it looks a little darker gray to me like a little gunmetal finish i'm not sure exactly how they're doing that or if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me but then you also have two straps here to hold down that uh that strap so um the the the, the dual end of the band here so um, nice thick band that's certainly going to stand up to some some abuse I think oh, nothing on the crystal okay cool let's get to the case here what you can see is kind of a brushed finish and in a like a truly in like a gunmetal it, it doesn't really look to me like just unfinished stainless steel it could be I guess but it has a little bit more of that titanium gray look for some reason. I'm not sure exactly how they did it or if it's just the finish itself. Um, but it just looks a little bit darker than most stainless steel. And, you know, maybe if I point to, you know, the polished edges here, which should just kind of be bright, bright work, right? Um, you know, there's just something a little more sinister than, uh, than stainless steel to me. But... It could just be the way all the colors play together. See brush sides here, kind of very straight edged, right? That's kind of cool looking. The, the lower portion of the case is kind of um, very mechanical. It seems like a watch you would see in Aliens. That would be the sequel to Alien. And the second one where things are just kind of straight and flat and, you know, form fallout function. You, you know, the crown protectors here are kind of, um, you know, you know, like straight edged which is pretty cool. Helium release valve right there, suggesting its credibility as a diver's watch, HE. Interesting, helium is an interesting uh, noble gas. I'd Wikipedia it or find some podcasts on it. It's getting pretty rare. We could be in a helium crisis pretty soon, just FYI. Uh, the Spinnaker logo, the crown here is polished on this end, but you've got some really serious knurling on the crown itself and then you have this like uh gold toned very gold toned almost like brass like colored uh strip in there which does a great job of kind of marrying it to and tying it in with the the yellow elements on the rest of the watch if we look on this side we have the spinnaker name on a plate here i just love that it's kind of like a nice golf club where they put the name on a really prominent place it looks like you have a bolted on placard here with the spinnaker name not only engraved in it but then enamel fill to color fill there looks fantastic. Not fantastic, which is a pretty nice, which is nice high praise for something. But pandatastic is even better, just FYI. In case you didn't know that. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and then on the, the, the bezel here, like the diver's bezel, you have a polished edge on the outside and then a brushed finish on the top. So it's all the same material, but just... Spinnaker does a fantastic job of kind of combining finishes in a way that look great, rich, and are executed really, really perfectly, okay? So, does the dial spin this way? Does the bezel spin that way? No. Unidirectional, solid, solid clicks. 
probably 90 or 100 clicks. I'm not going to count them. I'm going to kind of say 90. They seem a little wide. You've got uh, a Luma pip up here. And what I want to show you too is that on the bezel, all of these things are really deeply cut into the bezel, right? Even these little minute notches, the hour marks, and then again, color filled. You can see the, the, the pip right there, which I think is super Luminova, is in the the cut recess so it's maybe just i can feel it there it just comes a little bit above the uh the height of the bezel but it's it's recessed in there so you don't have to worry about maybe knocking it off okay so that's pretty cool so this absolutely works should work you know as a diver's watch so that you can you know put this where you need to so that you know you know how much air you have left in your tank we have um really big pips at the hour markers and looks like solid loom on the hands now the minute hand here is in yellow in that bright yellow uh, as well because that's really going to be the only hand that matters to you when you're diving the hour hand right there is in silver with loom as well but they do a nice job of using kind of this fluorescent yellow or this bright yellow to kind of pull you know call out the hands that really matter you can see here the 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 second hand is actually two-toned you kind of looks like this this outer portion is floating because the inner portion is in a gloss black. Um, as we take a look, just a closer look at the dial, you can see it's very much like the Amalfi uh, watches in that we have the wave pattern on the back. It's a lower level than kind of the outer chapter ring, which is holding the pips. Uh, you've got some kind of uh, trapezoidal shaped um, uh, markers here at the three, six, and nine o'clock positions, and then the Spinnaker logo at the noon position. But in fact, I think that is also luminescent too. And you have yellow Arabic numerals on the outer chapter ring on the angled bezel there uh, for every five minutes with black markings for every minute. And again, I think a mineral crystal, I believe, on this watch. Uh, but how deep can you go? A thousand meters. Are you going to go that deep? No, you're not. And that 1,000 meter tag looks like it's a placard too, also bolted onto the dial. And then you have a little bit of a, a bezel around that peekaboo window into the, uh, into the movement in the back there too. So you can see the one jewel right in the middle. Um, you know, Spinnaker doesn't highly decorate these movements at all, which is just fine with me because, you know, using Japanese movements tend to be... Um, more for utility, not for beauty, but because they just they just work. They're kind of like that 3800 series V6 uh, motor that uh, GM used in like pretty much everything. They were just kind of bulletproof. They weren't. They were decently efficient. They were decently powerful, decently torquey, um, but just kind of good all round motors. They put them in everything because they they ran every time, right? FYI. So I really like this watch, man. What a great looking watch. At $400, I think it's a good price, right? You can find quartz watches that are just fashion watches that are that expensive. And um, But I was having a tough time parting with $400. So let me give you the quick rundown here. Spinnaker just put some watches on sale, and luckily this was one of them. This was not the only one of the uh, overboards that they put up there, but this is the one I got. So I think there's two overboards and they marked them off 40%, I believe, 40%. So right there, I think this watch, you know, in the two, two and a half um, range is a <laughs> unbelievable deal. Now, Spinnaker turned off, I think, my discount code, the PVP30, for watches that are already discounted. Um, so the day that went on sale, I was able to get that code in there, but I tried it again and it didn't seem to work. So to, to the dude that was commenting on it, um, yeah, I guess you just have to take one discount. Now, the discount that they were applying is better than my code. It's a 40% off, so you do want to use that as opposed to paying the, re the original retail price and then the 30% discount. But you can't kind of double dip, it, it appears at this moment. I mean, I would try it. Try it again. If it works, great. But if it doesn't, no big, no big whoop. Um, but on the rest of the watches that are full price, put in PVP30, uh, get a 30% discount on the watch, help yourself to that. I use PVP30 myself um, on having now on several spinnakers because man, I just I just love it. So this is an awesome, awesome watch. And holy smokes, what is wrong with me? I never gave you the wrist shot. Are you kidding me? Boom! 
Look at that. So I have a fairly healthy sized wrist, seven, seven and a half inches. And so I like wearing larger watches. This one isn't even th that large in terms of diameter. You know, it's a pretty large watch. I want to say, I think it's 46 millimeters, but you know, um, it, and it kind of wears like that. I know some guys wore larger or smaller. Uh, it wears kind of like 46. Now the thing is it's tall, right? Like the lower portion of the case in particular, uh, because you're kind of building this armored tank around an automatic movement generally needs to be pretty big but you can see that it just at a glance you know the the top portion here the rotating bezel portion tends to be maybe as thick as the bottom and in this case it's maybe twice as thick so you get a lot of vertical stacking effect you know visually on it but in terms of being too big for my wrist nope in terms of looking bad on my wrist nope now my wrist is a good looking wrist you know I could be a hand model Ooh, yeah. Uh, but that looks great. And then even when I put it like this, um, I don't think it looks ridiculous. Do you? But I love it, man. Um, you know, it's an automatic movement and a true diver's watch. You can wear this on a trip. You can wear this scuba diving. You can wear it snorkeling, um, you know, to the pool. And at this price point, at like 250 bucks or 240 bucks, can you go wrong? I mean, even if you destroy the watch with abuse, man. You know, get another. What a what an amazing deal at four hundred dollars, and at uh, two and a half, just incredible. I just unbel I'm unbelievably in love with this watch. Gray on gray, gunmetal and yellow. You should love it too. Get your own to love, in fact, because this one is staying with me. Peter Ron Panda with my Spinnaker overboard out.